Hi guys, I am so happy you are back again with Designing with Margot. This one, we're gonna do it a little bit shorter. It's a Valentine's Day setup. I'm gonna have our wonderful Sarah. Um, she's gonna help me out. We don't have a guest today, but who needs guests when we have the most glorious, gorgeous setup? Uh, this uh, vlog uh, entry, I wanna kind of dedicate Yes, for Valentine's Day, but I also want to give you a couple of ideas of how you can propose if, you, if you're planning to do that for Valentine's Day, how you can set up a beautiful intimate dinner for you and your loved one. Um, it could also be not just for Valentine's Day, I just kind of want to give you an idea how to make it pretty. Maybe it's a birthday dinner, maybe it's an anniversary, anniversary dinner, so let's just take it from there. I'm going to start with a simple table setup and I'm gonna layer it on top. So we're going to go, our color scheme as you can see, it is a um, blush and red. So, uh, you know me, I like my drama. So Sarah, please give me the linen. Thank you. I was thinking originally to kind of go with these beautiful, almost kind of like salmon blush, but always remember that if you have nothing at your fingertips to create drama you can do it simply with the linen and then how you can do it i'll show you can you please hand me over you can simply do that dramatically with having this red um, um kind of like a, a red linen obviously so you know me i like my dramas and i like my dramatic moods so i'm gonna try to do it on the red okay you remember you can always switch and you can try you know maybe when your bow or bow is out of town you can try to do it in pink and then try to do it in red and see which one you like or prefer more um i do enjoy it come on seep down it has an air bubble i do kind of like the drama of the red and i think if you have a kind of like a setting that you're doing it in front of you can do it um like that but um if you are I don't know craving the whole spring idea i'm just kind of rethinking it hold on do we like the pink sarah what, what are your thoughts what do you think what do you like, I like you like the pink one more fine I, I listen to my to my girls okay so let's do a blush one maybe we'll do the dramatic one for for another dinner. So I'll be walking around, kind of just making it all pretty. So don't mind me moving. Um, I'm going to put it underneath. So always roll all of your leftover linen. Make sure it's nice and straight, just like that. All right. Um, for this session, the chairs, the linens and the napkins are provided by Chair Decor which I'm so grateful for. And I just want to kind of set the stage like this, correct? All right. So what's next? We're going to layer it with our charger plates. Okay, beautiful. So start with a charger plate. Table tails TO, thank you for those. A plate. And the second one. So we're going to take, again, charger plate, plate, all right, like that. Um, we're going to take, so I took velvet napkins. I always say, you don't have to match, you could, but you don't have to match. Even similar shades, um, you know, contrasting colors, they all can come together super, super elegantly. So don't be afraid please okay now originally um sarah can you pass me the other napkins please yep thank you so originally i was thinking okay guys you know what i'll just because i wanted to introduce the velvet ribbon somehow because i have obviously the red candles here they're going to be on my table but then i was like okay so let me just create my ghost okay the ghost is napkin middle finger ghost and wrapping it. So that's like a little ghost. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna wrap it, and that's how I'll put it on the plate. But then you can layer it up. I know that I have my utensils, and I don't wanna really make it look stuffy. And I'm not sure if you know, but in bistros, in a lot of the bistros in France and 
England, they tie actually or put the utensils inside the napkins and I'm going to show it here. So what I was thinking to do is grab my utensils and put a ribbon around it. Thank you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab, I'm going to leave my uh, dessert uh, um, spoon here, but the knife, spoon and fork, I will tie it together as a trio. I will tie it with a ribbon. So I will show you one second. What do you guys think? Do you think it's cool? Nice and casual, right? Right, Dennis? Lovely. And just like that. And so this itself becomes something that you can layer with and place it on the table setting like this and make it look super, super dainty. How to make these kind of uh, 2020, 2019, these knotted napkins uh, styles came out. Super, super simple. And this is how we do it. This is how we do it. So you take the napkin, you roll it a couple times, and you tie it, literally. Like, can it be easier than that? No, I don't think so. And so that goes here, and then we're gonna tie the next table setting. So we're gonna put that, the opposite. Again, we have the fork, the spoon, the, oh my God. The spoon, the fork, and the knife. So how are you making your proposal super unique? How are you, you know your fiance, girl or boy, you know, we are living in a interesting world where everything goes. And how are you making this super unique? Well, you know your fiance or you know who you, girlfriend, boyfriend, you know what they appreciate and they love. So, but we all love to eat. So let's make this dinner gorgeous. Let's go with our champagne flutes that are going to our right and then a little bit of crystal that is in case, I mean, crystal can also be the goblet at this, at this particular scenario. And, oh wait, we already have some champagne here. One second, mm -hmm. it's approved, okay. So, it goes like this, champagne first, then water, champagne first, then water, like that, then, we are gonna go with, so depending on the size of your table, if you'd like to put some flowers just along here, you could, but you don't have to. You see how this particular setting is two people. So it's a bistro kind of style. You know, you, even in the long table, I'm presuming a lot of people have long tables in their house, you can only sit up in the middle and make it much more intimate and congregate everything in the middle. So let's start with our candles. I'm gonna take some candles with red candlesticks. And instead of kind of like, I want you to understand that you can design with every element. You don't just design with flowers. You don't just design with, um, um, I guess, um, you know, even like the table setting. You literally design with each element. So um, when you have these candles, you can literally have them running all along the table. Very kind of like bell style, as in like, as in, as in um, the Disney Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, yeah. You know, you could have it run all along the table or you could cluster it one and two on the side and that way it will go one, two on each side like this, right? And in between you can have smaller, but I'm presuming that there's probably gonna be, I mean, the other idea and that's, I mean, I would love that is when um, you have, you know, at dinner, there's a chef that comes in and cooks for you. That would be a great idea for, um, um, for like a proposal dinner where you can simply say, hey, just come over. We're just going to have a Valentine's Day dinner. And then all of a sudden there's a chef there for you cooking. So it will be presumably, I'm presuming it will be French served. So you could kind of maybe take the space because it's everything's going to be served to you but in the same time you're talking to each other so you don't really want to put anything in your way so in this case i think i want to put things a little bit to the side to give it ambiance you know you're going to have to put your hands here you know so not taking too much space so i do kind of appreciate the candles here 
Now, going into having champagne. So we could totally, we can, we can take um, the smaller bottle as well. We can totally take some bottles and you could put ribbon on your champagne bottles. I think that's really cute. And kind of having at the table as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm not saying use it as decor, but even a detail like that could kind of just add to everything. It kind of looks like a present, makes you feel special, even like a chocolate box, truffles, any of that sort. Trust me, we like it. <laughs> then I'm going to kind of layer it with another element. And I know, again, people or some people don't really understand why this is necessary. This is not necessary. You can take as much or as little of what I just kind of played with and infuse it into your dinner. So I have uh, these, these, um, I have these kind of like artificial pearls. And what I think would be super cute, I know a lot of people are putting them on the table, but you could kind of have them around on the plate just like that, having them as an accessory, you could put them on the, um, the table as well, just to kind of have it there. I personally like it here. I also, um, Dennis, thank you for the tip. You could get edible pearls and put them inside of the champagne glass and then pour the champagne in there. So again, take it as far as you can or as you want, knowing your fiance, knowing your boo. Now, um, another way that you can, I mean, if you're thinking to propose here, um, super, super amazing idea. Um, I think what we could do is kind of give them a box. I mean, we all know these boxes, but I want to show you how absolutely stunning this looks like. Dennis, I'm going to come and show you kind of closely what this could be, but you could also have that as a centerpiece. So you could have that simply sitting right here before she or he enters. And then you can tell them, please open the box. And when they open the box, you could have, I took this kind of small ring, it could be a token, could be a promise ring, promise of your love, it could be an engagement ring, literally guys, anything, it could be a bracelet, I mean, it could literally earrings. Um, I would place this right in this rose and kind of close it, right? And then exposing it, she or he will open it. Dennis, I'm gonna come towards you and show it to you. What do you think? <gasps> Just make sure that the ring doesn't fall, right? Kind of like that. Yeah, you got it? So literally, that's it, guys. Um, I would kind of like that. And it could be closed for a surprise or not. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think this, in terms of French serve, no food on the table, unless you want to. You could totally have some food because there is some spots. We're gonna sit down. And this is kind of what we're dealing with here. You have your champagne on the side, you have hors d'oeuvres on the side. It's a bistro style setting. It's just the two of you. It's intimate. And I mean, here you can talk about anything you want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> that's it. The only thing is I do want to light up the candles and, um, and we are finding the, the lighter, which I did. No worries, no worries. We found the lighter. I just want to give you the full, uh, kind of uh, the full feeling of this dinner. And um, I don't know what you're serving, but I hope it's good. And I hope she or he says yes. So here is to you and to, I know it's, we're shooting it in the new year, okay? But this is for February Valentine's Day. So I hope that you filled with love and all of 2021 is filled with love. Now, if you would love to get more little tips and tricks, you know what you gotta do. Please subscribe. I love you. Bye. Ding.